Hi guys, uh, my name is Dmitry and I run Triton Bikes. We are from Moscow, Russia. And uh, we also built, uh, we've also brought a couple of other guys from Russia. Um, yeah. So uh, we are Trident and we are specializing in titanium bicycle frames and the complete bikes of course and here's like one of the bikes that we brought. Uh, this is our customer's bike, we just grabbed it from him, it's his, in his snow setup now with the NV custom painted um, rigid mountain bike fork and it's a plus bike so it's 27.5 uh, by 3. Uh, well, the finishing is it's uh, Triton with anodized decals, and it says Triton, which is a uh, Triton in uh, in Russian. And this one has our proprietary um, CNC machine yoke uh, that takes up to three inch tires. And what's unusual about it is that it's got internal cable routing in it. So we we wanted to make this routing to be as in like integrated as, as possible. So that, like there is a shifting. Uh, cable going right inside here going all the way down into the button bracket and then through the yoke and it's pretty thin here into the chain state and it just exits here the rear derailleur so that is like as internal as you can go um, this bike also runs the the original 142 by 12 uh, rear space which allows the user to put his uh, 29 wheels from his uh, traditional uh, bike uh, well <clears throat> That's about it. It's also got this new wolf tooth uh, <laughs> uh, dropper thing. Um, the next one is uh, Anton from Torres Vela. Hi, my name is Anton and I'm a Torres Vela. <laughs> it's a one man workshop and I'm from Astrakhan. It's a deep south of Russia. It's a dusty westland, as I call it. <laughs> So, this is my bike, it's a old school clunker, just bike for make it fun. Uh, it's a modern bike with some modern features like a bell drive, two axles, post mount, brake tab, and uh, with a old school design, it's like an old Yeti or something like this, first mountain bike, with uh, rigid forks, with uh, Unicron, Unicron rigid forks. And uh, standard mountain wheels, not plus size, not nothing, just a 2.3 is enough for this type of bikes. So, is, uh, I also have a uh, SS Couplers, it's a traveling feature. I fly from Russia to, with these bikes and pack it a small case, like, uh, you know, standard baggage. And this is nice stuff. Just uh, my vodka and uh, my rules, my vodka. <laughs> <laughs> He's got water in there actually. We it's, had, a, it's a water. It's they a told us they told us there is no alcohol in Utah, so we had to pour it down in the sink. Unfortunately. Well, we tried a little bit. <laughs> Usually I work with steel. Steel, stainless steel parts, because on my back you can see some lot of stainless parts, some brass stuff. Look at my head badge. Is a uh, uh, I make it by hand from brass. Also, it's the same stuff here, it's a nameplate for this guy, but it's a woman name, but who cares? <laughs> and the next one, uh, thank you, man. Um, the next one is Evgeny and Andre from Gem Bikes, they're from St. Petersburg. Hello. St. Petersburg. Hello, uh, we came from St. Petersburg and uh, we call Gem Handcrafted Bicycles and we make uh, road and fix fixed gear frames and we sell frame sets but uh, and we do them from steel from aluminum we we took, uh, we use TIG weld we use uh, fillet brazing uh, also we uh, make by hand uh, some parts for our frames like uh, dropouts and uh, I can show you for example, these dropouts were made from uh, four uh, pieces of uh, stainless steel. This is not a CNC. We braced it with uh, silver. Just whole whole bike uh, was uh, filled braced by uh, brass. Uh, we make whole design of uh, paint job for these bikes, and uh, we. Uh, 
So you tell them about your fixed gear bike? Uh, uh, about fixed, fixed gear. Uh, it's, it's most popular in our city to make uh, uh, fixed gear bikes. That's why this is our showstopper bike for, for our booth. Uh, also made by hand dropouts, but all other tubing uh, we, we buy it from Columbus. Uh, most interesting thing in, in these bikes, in this bike, is uh, our paint job. It names hyperspace and these lines assigned uh, Star Trek. So we've been in for like the company exists for already 11 years and we've been outsourcing frames till 2012. Then we set up our own production shop in 2012. Mm -hmm. And I started liking our frames in 2014. Before that they were not, I was not as happy. I think Anton, how long have you been into? Uh, I built my first frame in uh, 2011. It uh, was first aluminum ugly frame. <laughs> and, uh, it was so it's a scrap. It was a scrap, really. So yeah, my next few frame it was also aluminum, and uh, it was also scrap uh, <laughs> because I have no proper tools for this. I have no skills and something like this. But now you do. Yeah, but now I have five years in this <laughs> stuff, and uh, I have uh, some skills for this and uh, some tools because I spend a lot of time for this. And uh, my name is Toros Velo Start in 2014. Uh, because so three years now. Yeah, three years now. Because uh, only three years ago I filmed myself. It's probably like, uh, because my first frame, nobody don't see never. It's like <laughs> it's the same for every frame builder. Like the first frames, you, we have our first frame still lying somewhere uh, at a shop, and like when someone sees us, I say like, don't look at it. It's not what we are now. Uh, you guys, how long have you been for? Oh, we started to uh, build frames in uh, 2011, uh, but we were different, two different uh, frame builders. Frame builders, uh, and uh, uh, like this, uh, like uh, United. Uh, but now, uh, yes, when we united, it was uh, it was uh, it was three years ago, and uh, we can say that Jim. He's uh, three years three years old. old. Okay. And expensive. <laughs> uh, too much expensive. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, it's good. Okay. Well, it's a it's a long trip for us, but there is a great market in the U.S. and uh, not also not just U.S. Um, Naps is a place where you can get the coverage, uh, and after Naps you get orders from or at least requests from like Japan or. Singapore or South Africa, so it's it's just a good place to meet and to meet your buddies, your colleagues. And, uh, but for sure, wait a little bit far. <laughs> uh, well, for us, it's, it was 18 hours for the stop in Zurich, Zurich, and in Switzerland. And the tickets are pretty cheap, though, like $500 return. You should all get, go to Russia. I mean, we should be doing Russian names, and, was and it's gonna be cheaper than this one. <laughs> but yeah. sorry, there's no Don Walker here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don, you're you're invited. <laughs> Hi, Don. <laughs> See you in Moscow. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and then again. Uh, so yeah, well, we I think how many frame builders do we have in Russia? Like ten in total. The number is growing. Like I can, there are people texting me, emailing me all the time, saying, "Hey, how do I start this?" And and it's getting more and more interesting. And yeah, they, I think. You guys, what are your sales in the main countries, like Russia main and countries, South Korea, I think? Main country is Russia, but uh, more, uh, many frames we, uh, we sold, uh, outside. sold uh, outside to South Korea, some of them to the US, Canada, uh, yeah, all the world, Germany, yeah. all around the world. And by internet. Well, by your video, once you post it, we're gonna have some more orders. Thank you very much. I'll get you this 10%. I'll give you 50. <laughs> we're like at the market. Turn the camera to me. I'll give you 15. 